Aziz is going to be left with the entire uh, bottom right side of the base, so this is not actually going to be too bad for either player uh, in the long run, but... Uh, yeah, I, draw, I just got to be careful this is main main group here because he could easily lose it to a couple of swarms or plagues, uh, and that's not going to be cool. Hydra frantically rebuilding his base at the top right while this is all going on. Plague does go off over this marine, so that's going to be that's going to be painful. Uh, yeah, he just tried to sort of multitask a bit there and send out a secondary force to do some damage over the on the right hand side, bottom right side of the map, but that's not really going to. Uh, do enough and Hydra instead of going going for the decisive attack on the main he's bringing his units back and that's probably a good idea because if he encountered too many swarms he was basically not going to achieve anything and lost his main for nothing so uh, yeah it, it does look a bit does look a bit ugly still for the tearing player he's got a lot of tanks though so wow almost a full con control group of tanks as you can see those ultralisks don't usually die that easily. I mean, when you've got Ultra Squad with what six armor, that you need plus three marines, plus three armor marines to even inflict three damage per shot on them, and, and that's just that's just nothing. Uh, so marines terrible against Ultra but tanks ideal against against Ultra And when you've got a full control group of them, it's just very easy to kill Ultra and and wow, if uh, I did I did spot an armory there for Idris, so it looks like he is planning on upgrading the yeah. There it is, right there. Uh, yeah, indeed, uh, plus one weapons uh, for the tanks being started. So once he gets that, he's really going to be able to chew up these ultralisks and uh, force the, the Zerg player to waste a lot of gas and, and minerals on those ultralisks. And that could buy him a lead into this game. Uh, but Idris being reduced to the top right side of the map, he's really only on one base, mining base at the moment, and uh, the Zerg player has still got at least three or four uh, ready to go, and uh, still got an extractor there, but no hatchery. Uh, yeah, I just spotted this. I, th I think you want to want to take that out before long. But I just playing it safe here, being being very cautious. He knows that the Zerg player can just head up and uh, demolish him at any time with with some well placed pl uh, plagues and swarms. So he just doesn't want to doesn't really want to throw the game away at this point. It's been a very epic game so far, as as you guys watching will agree. Uh, got a got a few units in, in overlords. I'm not sure what they're going to achieve because there's only Zerglings in them. Uh, but maybe some just bombs on the on the tanks or something like that if there are no marines around but there are marines so that's not really going to work too well uh i just definitely turreting up but i'm not sure why he hasn't turreted tar that up that ledge so far yeah, it probably would have been a good idea just on this map othello uh that ledge can only be accessed around from the the main area uh via a very small opening uh so uh, this hmm Usually the best thing to do is just drop them with with overlords or dropships or whatever. A large group of vessels heading up through and just readying it. Ah, oh, this is great. But you got to ready at the defiler. Ready at the defiler. No, 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 no. Don't. Oh my God. There goes the there goes the swarm. But wow, wow. All of the ultralisks actually got destroyed by the tanks before they even made it to the swarm. So this is actually showing the the true defensive power of the Terrans right now. Uh, even though swarm went off. The Ultralisks didn't even survive long enough to get underneath the swarm, and that's how powerful Idris' tanks are at this point. He's got so many of them, and the, and the medics could just block, and the medics will just heal each other. The, the, the Zerg units won't be able to run past them. And wow, again, just with the splash damage and the massive tank hits with um, several on the ground, several on the ledge. Uh, this is just wreaking havoc, and uh, that Defiler is having to retreat. I, I just actually got four command centers. Only one of them's actually at a mineral patch. He's going to have to um, create an opening there. It is natural to get that uh, that new command center down. <gasps> oh God, I need oxygen. Oh, just going to take a glass of water here. Mm. Wow. Sorry guys, I need a breather. We should almost have a, like an intermission or something to go to the bathroom or something in, in these games because this is just intense, almost non-stop action. This is this is StarCraft at its best, uh, with just in just intense games showing showing the strengths of both races and so many of the different units being used. Uh, really great stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, I know you guys enjoyed my Warcraft 3 commentary, but uh, this is why I, I commentate on StarCraft and not Warcraft 3, because you get games like this, just look at what's going on. We're already uh, in, into nearly 40 minutes, and it's just action-packed, all of the map being used up, all of the unit's abilities and, and upgrades and uh, different things being used, and that's really great to see. Uh, another Zerg attack coming in, plenty of Scourges coming in, wiping out vessels left, right, and center. We've got a, we've got a swarm coming off. If any of those Zerglings can make it to the swarm, uh, they'll be fine, but that's not going to happen. The tanks are just too strong. Uh, 
<laughs> just yeah the waves are coming in piecemeal Zergian is getting cut down this is looking actually kind of bad for ZZ because he's just not able to get any Zerg, Zerg units in there and he's just really just throwing away resources at this point and what's eventually going to happen is he's going to actually mine out the entire map and we'll be left with just the Terran army versus whatever dregs of a, a Zerg army is left and the Terran's going to be able to take this so this looks really, really crazy here. Uh, I just got a very sloppy looking base, but obviously he had to hurriedly rebuild it in the face of losing his main. And uh, now he's just looking for empty space around the around the uh, the base, just to put up new buildings like barracks and supply depots and so forth. Uh, and ZZ at this point is starting to look like he's falling apart. Only sending in waves of unit, he hasn't really got any new answers to this this problem of of Idris base being virtually unassailable at this point. That that floating command center nearby is severely damaged. It's in the yellow in terms of the health, so it's got about 60% health. I'd really quite like to see a queen show up and take that command center and then produce infested terrans or something cool like that, maybe drop the infested terrans somewhere. That would be cool, but it doesn't look like Zizi's thought of that. He's, uh, I mean, he sees the command center there, and the command center is just like a flying... Uh, flying scout basically it's not going to be able to land anywhere safe to uh, harvest minerals from so uh, that's not really, not really going to happen ZZ has got thousands of minerals in the bank so he can afford to throw countless waves of zoglings at at, uh, at Hydra but the zoglings are going to achieve nothing and uh, ZZ is starting to look starved for gas because he's got a couple of he's got Probably about four depleted uh, gas guys events now, and a couple of active ones. So that might not be might not be enough uh, to survive in the long run. Again, ZZ dropping Zoglings around here, but the, the turret is able to give him enough vision uh, for the tanks to actually splat the Zoglings like that. Uh, yeah, what he was trying to do was just <laughs> bring in the overlords and uh, drop Zoglings on the tanks to force the other tanks to blast them and splash damage his own tanks. Zergling bombs. As you as you, as you might call it, but that wasn't really working uh, too well because the Marines were in range to get rid of the Overlords. Looks like another wave is uh, ready to come in. So another large group of of, of units coming in. A uh, swarm goes uh, goes down, but I don't think he'll be able to get an, enough units underneath the swarm. And yeah, Hydra just again doing a fantastic job of just blocking units from getting in. Meanwhile, the tanks super range just blasting everything that comes anywhere near. Uh, and Zizi again forced back. Hydra has not taken too many casualties. He's got plenty of units uh, left. Uh, he's really just bulking up. Zizi's running out of gas. This is turning into a really, really interesting situation because before long, Hydra can just push out and he can actually, he doesn't really need scans for too much and he's going to be able to literally scan around the map, just get a, get a bit of intelligence as to what. ZZ uh, is up to and how much he's got in terms of gas. You can click on the gas vents, see how many of them are depleted. Uh, just take a look around for the units. Just cautiously head, in, head around uh, science vessels to irradiate the, uh, whatever's left in terms of the, the tech units. And he should be able to come back into this game, no problem. Uh, but wow, and tanks being upgraded still, we've, we've got, got almost two control groups worth of tanks. That's a massive number of tanks in, in any TVZ. I mean, you normally only see just a few of them. We've got a huge number of tanks. Um, Iger really loves using them, really uh, tends to be good with them by the looks. I've, I've seen him use them in other games, and uh, they're definitely a good solution to Ultralisks if you can get them and if you can protect them. And Iger has done just that in this game. So very, very good play.